All right, and I'm now joined by Dmitro Gurin, who is a member of Ukraine's parliament. Dmitro is joining us there from Kiev. Uh, look, thank you so much for your time this evening, firstly. Uh, Ukraine, you know, Russian forces are continuing their siege of this southern port city of Mariupol as Ukrainian forces and citizens, you know, continue to defy Moscow and surrender. You know, in other parts of the war-torn country, Ukraine's defence ministry says its troops are slowly forcing the enemy out of certain parts of the capital uh, following heavy battles. What is the latest there on the ground? In Mariupol, nothing changes. Uh, during last weeks, uh, Russia tries to completely destroy the city and start the hunger in uh, Mariupol. So now there are uh, almost 250,000 people in Mariupol, maybe more. Uh, they are still there and uh, uh, no, no any communications and uh, no heating, electricity, gas, nothing. And no water and no food. Wow. So, uh, so people just, you know, they melt snow for water, they prepare uh, food in open fires. Uh, my parents just uh, went out of Mariupol like two days ago, and uh, what I heard from them, you know, I lived in Mariupol f for 15 years. Uh, it was my childhood, my my uh, my university, my school, and all of my 15 years of my past are totally destroyed. My school is destroyed, my university, my house, it's nine-story building with uh, 200 apartments is totally burned because it was shot by tanks several times. And uh, uh, like the drama theater, all the hospitals, uh, all the cultural centers, all the pools, like all the infrastructure in the city is destroyed. Uh, the siege of Mariupol is uh, led by is uh, led by uh, the same general uh, who uh, led the attack, uh, the operation in Syria and uh, siege of Aleppo. Uh, so the Russia is always, uh, they have the same strategy. They destroyed uh, Grozny and Chechnya. They destroyed uh, Aleppo in Syria. And now they're trying to destroy Ukraine. Because in the beginning of this war, uh, at the end of February, we had a conventional war, army against army. And when Russia and everybody else, I think you also have seen that uh, Russia cannot beat Ukrainian army on the battlefield, they decided that uh, if we all resist, so let's kill you all. And, and uh, they're trying just to destroy our cities and uh, to kill uh, as much people as possible. And in Mariupol, we clearly see that they're trying to start a hunger in the middle of Europe yeah. for quarter of a million people. I want to know, Dimitro, you know, given what you've just told me, I'm so sorry, by the way, to hear that, you know, you grew up there. This must be shocking, heartbreaking. You know, how long can people hold on, given that the Russians are trying to starve these people out? Uh, you're asking a hard question, uh, but, you know, uh, it's uh, everybody asking during lives, during the interviews, everybody asking if we are going to surrender. It's the same question as uh, to ask uh, in 1943, uh, the anti-Hitler coalition, would, uh, it, it, uh, it, was it a good idea to surrender for them because maybe less Jews would, would, be, would be killed, you know, would be uh, died. No, it's not possible to surrender in, the, in this situation because on occupied territories, you know, Russian army, they keep kill people for fun. We have a lot of refugees now uh, from European Bucha, uh, it's small cities near Kiev, and we have more and more evidences. They kill people for fun. Yeah. And in Mariupol also, on occupied territories, they force people, they transport them to Russia, and they get their phones, and they get their passports, and they give some papers, and uh, uh, force people to sign that they will not leave Russia during the next two years. And now we have already one evidence of one case where uh, parents were separated with children. And as I understand, you know, Israeli people knows well what's going on and knows about these stories and remembers and will never forget. Yeah. And as for me, as a member of Ukrainian parliament, it's very interesting what position is Israel, Israel government 
How about this conflict? Very interesting. Is it doing enough? Uh, as I as I said, uh, the MPs in uh, Knesset were displeased with the uh, um, uh, with a speech of uh, Mr. Zelensky. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the comparison between like what's going on in uh, Ukraine and Shah. But you know that uh, uh, Russian propaganda says now about the final solution of Ukrainian question. And you also have to remember this. Yeah, Dimitri. And now we have, we have a, a, they are trying to start a hunger in Mariupol for quarter of a million people. And what's sorry, the difference between Mariupol and the hunger for quarter of a million people or Auschwitz or Treblinka? What's the real difference?